Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Look, if you can't get into Navy Federal, okay, and you're trying to raise possibly up to $50,000, then I would definitely tell you to check out PanFed, all right? And there's a couple reasons why. Now with PanFed, you don't have to jump through all the hoops it is with Navy Federal, where you have to be military, where you have to have a family member, I'm trying to find a way just to join. Now, I understand people wanting to join Navy Federal because, hey, with a 555, 580 credit score, they'll give you $25,000. And that's more than more motivation for a person to join. But when you can't join Navy Federal, then you have to find a better alternative. Now, one of those better alternatives is PanFed. Now, the reason I like PanFed is because when you join, it's only $5. Uh, to open a savings account for you to join. But when they do the hard pull on your credit, that hard pull, you should be able to apply for two credit cards, okay? Instead of just one, all right? So you should be able to get two credit cards for one. One hard inquiry, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. PenFed, they use FICO 9 just like Navy Federal Credit Union, okay? And so what that means is that with FICO 9, um, they're more forgiving. They allow you to use authorized users to help you build up your credit. FICO 8 credit scores don't uh, count in authorized users. FICO 8 credit scores, if you have a $100 uh, collection bill or whatever, it's counted in. With FICO 9, it's not counted in. Okay, so that's some of the bigger differences with your FICO 9 and the reason I call them low-hanging fruit. Now, again, with PenFed, uh, they use FICO 9, they pull Equifax for credit cards. Now, here's something else that I would tell you why you may want to uh, join PenFed. With their personal loans, PenFed personal loans, you can actually do that with a soft pull. That's right. With a soft pull, you can actually get a, a personal loan with PenFed. So then that will eliminate a hard inquiry on your credit score. Now, in terms of the credit credit cards, um, people have been able to get a credit card with at least a 620 credit score. Now, another thing I want to tell you why I like PenFed, say that you just came out of a bankruptcy. Well, if you've been out of your bankruptcy anywhere from 6 to 12 months, PNFed will give you a credit card. If you're just coming out of your bankruptcy and you're rebuilding your credit and stuff, PNFed will give you a credit card. So that's another good thing about them where some banks will want you to wait a year or maybe two years in order for them to decide if they want to give you a unsecured credit card. All right. Now, in reference to how do you join? We just talked about it, but i tell you another interesting thing about Penn Fed that I like is that they have a card that's better than Navy Federal. That's right. They are, um, they have the Penn Fed Gold Card. Now, the Penn Fed Gold Card, it gives you free interest, balance transfer, and purchases for up to 15 months. The maximum that Navy Federal on their Platinum card gives you uh, zero interest for up to 12 months uh, and on balance transfers. So that's the reason that I would like um, for those of you that may be having a challenge getting into Navy Federal to take a look at PenFed. All right. The reason I'm mentioning about that PenFed Gold Card because you may be trying to start a business and you need need money, right? So being putting yourself in a position where you can possibly raise anywhere, and and I'll tell you this. Let me tell tell you a story. All right. So we had a client. All right. He had a blank credit file, and we added uh, authorized users on it. So that jumped his credit score up to 750. All right. Actually, it was about a seven. It was closer to almost a 780 credit. He went into PenFed. PenFed gave him a credit card. They gave him a loan and a car loan with just a use. So that's like I said. 
these in this climate and stuff i don't know if that'll happen now but one thing i would tell you about adding authorized users you don't want to go over three authorized users it's very important because when you start uh adding a whole lot of authorized users like i said with fico 8 they they don't count it but when you go over three authorized users even with a fico 9 a lot of lenders look at that as a red flag okay so that's the reason I'm telling you, you can have the authorized users uh, with the FICO 9, but with the FICO 8, they're not going to calculate it, all right? Now, back to what I was saying about the uh, zero interest for 15 months with the Pen Fed Gold card. The reason is, is say that you need to liquidate the card to start your business. This is one of the better opportunities. Uh, no interest balance transfers for 15 months and then being able to possibly get a personal loan so you possibly able to get 25 to up to fifty thousand dollars capital for you to help start your business all right so that's the reason that i'm uh telling you this once you actually end with pen fed uh there's other opportunities like they do have car loans the unfortunate thing about pen fed is that they don't offer bank uh business banking okay they don't offer business banking like Navy Federal does, but at the same time, they do offer high credit limits, okay? And again, because you don't have to actually um, be in the military to join them, that makes it easier for you, all right? Now, if you have any other questions about removing negative items off your personal credit or trying to get personal credit funding or business credit funding, click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one. -on -one.